It's always pandering to these people, pandering to those people, pandering to these people. Have you ever thought that maybe people just have different ideas than you? All right, welcome back to the party, everybody. I am your host, Lutch, a.k.a. The Indian Jesus, here to resurrect the second coming of Common Sense. How's everybody doing? Hit that like and subscribe. I do it for you, and let's party! So you guys know that we talk a lot about LGBT this, that, and the other. And it can get tiring. I know it definitely does. But a very important aspect to point out is the difference between the people who are pushing this ideology and the people who are just living their lives this way, whether we agree with it, whether we think it's normal, whether we whatever we think about it and and their ideas. What I have a problem with is the ideology, not the fact that you choose to live your life a different way. And there is no better example of uh, Blair White. This isn't Blair White, but Blair White is reacting to some uh, TikTokers who hate her because she's a trans person who, in my mind, is what I would call normal. Um, I just got in a debate with somebody who says that nobody who is gay or uh, trans can be normal, and I don't agree with that fact. I uh, uh, know many people who I would say are normal people aside from the fact that they are either trans or gay. And I have no problem with that. I think um, at least uh, being homosexual is a natural thing. And um, it, it's, it just doesn't bother me as long as you're not pushing this ideology on me and specifically on children. Uh, so let's see what Blair's got to say. Let's talk about my issues with Blair White. Idiot. Idiot. Who are you trying to pander to? Obviously conservatives, but why? Why? You may remember last time we did this, there was a woke trans activist who made a TikTok about me saying I'm a horrible representation of trans people. Blair White is another one of those ultra privileged trans people that I will never understand because she hasn't struggled like most of us trans people have struggled. And so she just doesn't fully right. understand. Um, she has a lot of really problematic views and why I think she problematic meaning doesn't agree with me. She's worse than Caitlyn Jenner is because she spreads misinformation, <laughs> like literally fake news. But she like, also, literally. you know, just has like really strong opinions that are very transphobic, that are very problematic, that are very racist, that are very ableist, that. and that are very classist. <gasps> and I, you know, think that she's the worst representation of what a trans person can be. And you may also recognize that very same TikToker as the trans woman who was banned from the White House for stripping. So, you know, I'm not going to say oh, that's- Oh, that's her. Of course. Of course. Of course. It's always the ones that are so extreme. And I mean, hey, again, when it comes to being a normal person in all facets, the fact that Blair was born a male and has boobies and a- Actually, I don't know. I think she has a dick, right? I don't know. But whatever. That is a, that is a, a inconsequential to me. Because I'm not trying to fuck Blair, so I'm not worried about it. I'm more interested in what she says and how that influences other people to think. Not going to say that's karma, but what I am going to say is I paid for a voodoo priestess to make something really bad happen to you. <laughs> so let's react to some more and see what happens to them nine months from now. I'm weaker. I'm stupider. So it says, Blair White, a transgender woman, after siding with far-right conservatives, they hate trans people and want them all to die. That's not true. I'm an idiot. I'm a f***ing idiot. Well, let me just say, when someone tells you who they are, believe them. And you're the one <laughs> chanting how you're an idiot right now. Yep. Gotta say it fits. <laughs> You know, I've been saying this. Can cool people please take back colored hair? Because every time I see nope. someone with green hair and Blair White in the tags, I just know it's going to be negative. Yep. They ruined colored hair. When I was a kid, dyeing your hair was punk. That was so outside of the norm. Like, whoa, that's so cool. And now. And if you miss just normal things being associated with LGBT, you will definitely find a home at the Indian Jesus Discord server where the party never ends. That's right. 24-7. We are in there hanging out. And after every single live stream, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we go in for a live discussion. That's right. An after panel where you are not stuck behind your creep board, but you are actually on screen with me and everybody else. You can come up if you want to. You don't have to, but it is a good time. Come and join us. Like, I should not be able to just tell via your hair color that you're a non-binary communist who snorts their antidepressants, but I can, and that's an issue. Him. So if we could just take back colored hair, maybe, you know, nope, if it gets cool enough, gone. again, I'll join you. I would love to maybe put some, like, pink tips or something. Just, you know, something not annoying. Nope. Uh, girl, please be serious, because how are you going to post this? 
So it says, if you see a bulge in a conservative woman's pants, it's a gun. If you see a bulge in a liberal woman's pants, it's a penis. <laughs> I mean, facts? All right, so you posted that. Yes. We have a, a full video on YouTube explaining why you kept your penis. Okay, so I guess she does have a penis. And I'm not judging what you did. I don't care what anyone does with their body. Sure sounds like it. Keep it. Get rid of it. I don't give. I don't really care. But what is this tweet? It's obviously a response to uh, the Dylan Mulvaney. What is the bush? Like, that is a, like, come on. And this isn't the first time you have used the same exact images and the same exact words. Who are you trying to pander to? Obviously conservatives, but why? How much are they paying you? It's always pandering to these people, pandering to those people, pandering to these people. Have you ever thought that maybe people just have different ideas than you? It happens. I, I it's It's real, I promise. Because I want to get in on some of that action then. So it really is also a hallmark of the wokey that they are unable to perceive humor. So yep. me making a joke, me making a comical tweet that went viral because it was that funny, of course, goes right over their heads. And of course, <laughs> because these type of people only project how they actually feel about minorities. Me making a joke or me having a certain opinion or me saying anything has to be pandering to someone. It can't just be genuinely coming out of my mouth exactly. and genuine to who I am. It can't exactly. just be a joke I'm making. It has to be me trying to pander to someone because she's trans. That's why they think that. They think you're trans, therefore you must think this way. And religious, or, or not, let me not even put it. Uh, let me not even put it on religious people because atheists do it too. To other atheists, the assumption is that if you are an atheist, like I am, then you are a far leftist. You don't. Uh, you hate everything that is uh, uh, associated with the right. You got a uh, jab. All of these things, but that has nothing to do with whether or not you believe in a god or gods. Just like Blair's opinions has nothing to do with whether or not she's got a dick in her pants. Never thought I'd say that sentence. <laughs> well, I promise you it's not that deep. It's certainly not any deeper than the hole that exists in your brain. So the problem that I have with Blair White and a lot of other people have is, is that you wish you looked like her? <laughs> that like she's the most anti-transgender, transgender person. And like what I mean by that is she very much like expects everyone that is transgender to be very like binary. She kind of like invalidates trans people by saying they're not, you know, masculine or feminine enough. Or if they haven't had enough surgeries, they're not trans. You know, she's like a Republican Trump supporter. Like, So one of the funniest things about being a public figure is that people just tend to create little narratives about you. And it just is true because enough people say it. So people love saying that I sit up here and really make videos judging people's passability or how feminine or masculine they are. When in reality, that's actually just not true. I mean, I would watch that. I would watch that. I'd be like, um, I agree with her on that one. Oh no, that's not passing. I would definitely watch that. Maybe you should Blair. That, that, that might be, uh, some new content. Like if I bring up a person's looks, it's because it's relevant to the argument that that person is making. For example, you wanna be called a they, them. Why do you look entirely like a woman? You wanna be called he and you are wearing a push up bra. Your appearance is probably relevant in why you're not getting called he, him. So the lie that not having enough surgeries means that I don't think you're trans enough. No, the line I've always drawn is you're not trans if you don't transition. Ooh, you're not trans if you don't transition. That works for me. That works for me. Because then you actually have to make an effort. Because you're asking so much of society. You want to flip society on its head just because you said, I'm a woman, or I'm a man, I'm a man, just, you know, whatever the, or I'm a they, or whatever else. So I, I'm with that. Like, she's done some work, clearly, that other men who claim to want to assimilate as women have not done. Which is a very common sense line to draw. I agree. It's kind of the bare minimum. It's kind of like saying a man who isn't attracted to men is gay or like a woman who isn't attracted to women is a lesbian. No, there are very simple definitions for these things. And so those definitions are often important. 
And I've only ever had one surgery in my life. So I'm not exactly seeing why you think that I believe trans people have to have all these surgeries. One surgery? You're a fem ass looking dude. If that if that's one surgery, because obviously that was a surgery. So if there's no facial stuff going on, Flair must be amazing at makeup, or that's a lie. Does anybody know that for sure? Let me know in the comments below. Because she got in like that facial feminization surgery or something. There's no way that's one surgery. Come on. No, it's just there should be some transition taking place if you call yourself a trans person. Bingo. How did we get here? Shout out to Alex. How did Jones. this happen? It says uh, it's a Blair White post. It looks like Facebook saying she was fearless and crazier than him. She was his queen. And God help anyone who dared to disrespect his queen with a picture of her and Alex Jones. Did did the frogs finally get to him? Did the frogs bring up some good points? He was like, worried about the frogs. I know they're both bad people. I'm just confused. That's all. That is very clear. You stay confused, babe. Because oftentimes, if you're confused and everyone else is kind of understanding, the problem might be you. I want Blair White to stick her head in a in a in a in a in a pool full of lava because she's a f***ing awful. Acceptance, right? Tolerance, right? <laughs> That's what this is all about. I can smell this video. <laughs> <laughs> She said, I could smell this video. And I think that filter is um, obnoxious, by the way, just as a side point. I recently watched a video where Blair White and Jeffree Star both were agreeing that they, them pronouns are not valid. And I have a question for the transgender and trans supporting people who agree with this. What is a transgender person to do when ontologically they do not Ooh, fit into either category neatly? Are they supposed to affirm their gender against physical appearances or stay closeted for the rest of their life? Or maybe does it make more sense for them to go by gender neutral pronouns to kind of meet society where it's at? So meet society where it's at? You think gender these these new uh, uh what do they call them neo pronouns or whatever the hell they're called you think that is meeting society halfway <laughs> oh the entitlement the entitlement is sweating out of you so my response would be you're not meeting society where it's at by adopting <sighs> they them pronouns you're actually going against society because people who subscribe to gender ideology can try as hard as they want to make they them a thing but it's just not going to happen gretchen Stop trying to make the they and them happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's an unnatural way of speaking. It doesn't make sense. And all I'm saying is you can go by whatever pronouns you want and you are free to do that. However, the expectation for people around you, especially strangers, to just know that you go by they, them. And if you don't, you're filming them in the drive through like we see so often on TikTok. You're you. yelling at people on the street. You're upset because they didn't call you a they, them. That's a you problem. Go off, girl. Baby girl. People don't speak that way. People don't use they, them for an individual person they see right in front of them. And exactly. If you want to use a non-gendered pronoun for yourself, which is one person, it would be it. You can be an it. That makes sense. You cannot be a they. They is plural. If two of you its are together, we can have a, a, a they but it doesn't really matter because if me and Blair are together, then it would be they anyway. But to use the English language correctly, you would want to use, and if this is your issue, I don't fit into he or she. Okay, then you're an it. That is how the language works. They is not meeting us halfway. And for which they can see their secondary sex characteristics. The only time they, them is used for an individual person is if their secondary sex characteristics are not clearly visible, like someone cuts you off in traffic. And even in that situation, the as in, before all of this stuff came around, the proper thing to say was he or she cut me off. Even in that situation, they is incorrect. But you can't see who's driving the car who did it. Oh, they cut me off. You're not going to say he or she because you can't really see. But 99% of the time, you would say he or she. When an individual is standing in front of you, your brain is registering them as male or female, and you're going to inherently say he or she. 
So yeah. it's just not a natural way of speaking and you're not going to get people to start using it. Sorry, it's just not going to happen. I cut that bitch head off and walk away giggling. <laughs> It do not make sense. It says, how, uh, how is Blair White trans and politically conservative? Baby girl, they really don't want you. Again, this idea that it's pandering to somebody as opposed to just maybe she doesn't agree with you. Don't you think she, th this is a, another thing that I don't get. Like, do you know how much more popular Blair White would be if she was actually, uh, 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 you know, pushing for the trans stuff? Do you know how much support she would get? Why would she go against the grain? Same thing with me. People uh, ask me if I'm a grifter all the time because I am uh, uh, more, uh, well, not so much conservative. I just uh, took a uh, political compass test. Check that out. Well, I did it live on air. So I'm not, I didn't just post it. I did the questions live on air, explained what I meant. Um, but I was dead center, 0, 0.0 in the center for left to right. And it was like negative two towards the uh, libertarian side. So I don't even really want to call myself conservative, but the non-woke. Why would I not be, if, I, if I'm non-woke and atheist, why would I not lean into the leftist stuff? Pretend that I, uh, 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 I that you know, con continue being an atheist, pretend that I'm gay or something, pretend that I'm trans, pretend that I'm a uh, liberal. I would have so much more support, but I just don't think those things. And still, and still, people are like, oh, you must be grifting. For who? Imagine holding a political position because you want people to like you rather than because you genuinely think it's true. Beta. Can't relate. Not a collectivist over here. Not wanting to be part of some group. Just wanting to say things how I see it. I said shit. <laughs> Me too, girl. And that has all to do with who likes it or who doesn't like it. Play Plenty of conservatives do not like it. I'm hated by plenty of conservatives, but I'm hated by a lot more liberals. I will say that. I said shit, me too. This is gonna kill my career, get me blacklisted and um, harassed for the next three years of my life. But let's talk about my issues with Blair White. So the comment says, wait, so Trap strives to be anti-Trap? Help me out here. I am blonde and transgender, so I'm trying to see your logic. I have no idea what trap or anti-trap strive or I have no idea what that means. Her blatant disrespect to the trans community. The fact that she treats non-passing women as less than and has bullied a lot of trans women on here. Again, these people invent that I really talk about people's passability. <laughs> I'm sorry, is it passability that I have talked about like that man with the beard going into the woman's restroom? What? Is that me really talking Jesus about passability for making just a common sense argument that, hey, maybe the reason people are upset that you're going in the men's bathroom is because you are presenting entirely as male. Is that about passability? Is that about judging trans women who just maybe, maybe. have a harder look to them and maybe aren't as lucky as other trans women? Or is that me making a very clear distinction between a trans woman and a man posing as a trans woman? I'd say the latter. I'd say the latter. So you can definitely go check out the uh, the rest of her video. There's some more in there. Uh, shout out to Blair White for being awesome, having great ideas, and standing on her values, being who she really is, and not feeling like she needs to uh, fit herself into some box. More people could learn from that level of courage. I'm not saying you have to be like her. I'm not saying you have to have the opinions that she has. But the fact is, she has her opinions, and she doesn't care what you think about them in the same way that you have your opinions and you shouldn't care about what anybody else thinks about them. Speaking of opinions, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me once again. I have been your host, Lutch, AKA the Indian Jesus, here to resurrect the second coming of common sense. Until next time, guys, I am out of here. Peace.